Good morning, we're Jacob and Jenny, and we have arrived in Dinant, Belgium. We're gonna be spending the day exploring this picturesque little town here in the Wallonia region of Belgium. Dinant is the home of Adolf Sax, who is the inventor of the saxophone. So this city honors it by having saxophones pretty much everywhere. The Charles de Gaulle Bridge, which goes between the two sides of the cities, has saxophone statues all the way through and there's also a his home that you can visit in the city as well. This one is honoring the United States but specifically New Orleans which is where we live. So our first stop of the day is going to be uh, the church right here that is just the uh, postcard picture perfect image of the city. It's pretty much the first thing you notice as soon as you come around the corner after leaving the train station and it's quite stunning. Uh, so we're gonna start our day at Notre Dame Church. This church is most known for, well, making Dinant look as beautiful as it does on postcards, but also known for its pear-shaped bell tower on the top. But definitely go inside because there is a gorgeous stained glass scene of the Virgin Mary's life inside that was part of the renovation project to kind of bring it more of its home to its gothic style and it's definitely worth a look to come inside of the church as well. This is quite a climb. So we're going to the top to go to pubs to the Citadel. And there's two ways to get there. One way is 406 steps, I believe, to the top. And it rained earlier, so they're very slippery. The other way is a cable car, but that's not operating today, so our only choice is up and down the stairs. why this protects the city because no one's gonna want to climb all this way up here. From here up here you get a good view of the pear-shaped bell tower of the Notre Dame church. So it's nice to see it from all the different angles. You're a little tired? A little bit. <laughs> so there's 400 and some steps to get to the top of the citadel and uh, I don't even know if we're halfway through yet, but that was pretty tiring. <laughs> I'll earn that beer and cookie later. Well, we finally made it to the top. Oh, and boy, was it worth it. Look at this view. It just goes on. It's so, so stunning. Ah, oh, definitely worth it to come up here. Hopefully you get a slightly better day with some better weather. It's starting to rain on us, oh, but kind of the mist in the valley makes it seem a little surreal. So out in this direction, on a probably much nicer clear day, you would see some castles and those were the old enemies of the town of Dinant. That's why these citadels are necessary to protect the town. In 1040, the Prince Bishop of Liège had an initial castle built to defend Dinant. It was destroyed and built several times. We just finished up at the Citadel, and I guess I didn't realize quite the historical significance of the Citadel as far as how many, like over time, how many wars the Dinant was engaged in and I think the most significant one was World War One. So if you're interested in learning about the history of Dinant, especially in the time of World War One, it gave an interesting perspective on that. But now I think that it is time to find some lunch. We are getting hungry after all those steps. So after a pretty good sandwich lunch, we wanted to try one of the special foods here in Dinant, which is the co Dinant, which it translates to Dinant cake. So it is a giant, hard, very hard, um, probably more like what we would think of as a cookie made of just 
honey and flour. They actually can be used as Christmas ornaments because they are pretty much just preserved indefinitely. So you can actually hang them and use them as decorations. They were really popular around St. Nicholas Day here um, as a little treat. And ours is so cute. It's, they usually do come with pictures on them and ours has the skyline of Denam. The Citadel and the church. Because it's so hard, you're not supposed to just bite into it. You're supposed to break off a piece and kind of suck on it. More like hard candy almost. Ooh, it is hard to break apart. Mm. It's definitely sweet. It's kind of like maybe like shortbread, just like hard. Mm. This would have been really good with some coffee. You like dunk it in, let it soak a little bit. It would be very good. I need to not break into it with my teeth. I'm very tempted to, but I know it's not going to work. So we were going to go to the caves here. There's supposed to be some really beautiful caves here. Some of the most beautiful in Europe, but it appears as though they're closed right now. That isn't terribly surprising with COVID going on. A lot of things are closed and what is on the website might actually, oh, there's a cat. <laughs> Do you not have visitors coming in? Um, sorry, I got distracted by the cat. Hi, baby. <laughs> oh my goodness, hello. I don't have anything for you. Oh, are you getting wet? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello there, my goodness, you're friendly. Oh, you're very friendly. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I bent down just to film her and she jumped on my lap. Very friendly kitty. It's a little disappointing that we didn't get to come to the caves, but maybe someday we'll just have to come back and try again. But we are gonna go on to our next thing, which I really, really hope this next thing is open, so fingers crossed. So, what to do? <laughs> oh. Bye. So we are now at Maison Laka, which is a kind of an interactive experience here. So it, we weren't sure if it was a tour or a museum, but it's a museum here that is part of the Leffa brand of beer. So we're going to learn a little bit more about Leffa and also have a tasting at the end. Leffa Triple is a traditional Golden Abbey beer that undergoes secondary fermentation in the bottle. So after a visit to the museum area, you can come get your free sample, which is actually just one free beer, and a gift, which is a full glass and then two more beers. So for the price of the 10 year admission, really good deal. Cheers. We had a nice day here in Dinant, and I'm sad it's coming to a close. Yeah, it's a really nice picturesque city to just come spend a day. Mm -hmm. uh, we did this as a day trip from Brussels. Uh, the train ride's a little bit long, but definitely doable in a day. It's a small enough town that you can pretty much see all the major sites uh, in a pretty short amount of time. But we still have a one more day, I guess, in yeah. Belgium. Yeah, uh-huh. Um, so make sure you subscribe so that you can see that last video. Yep. And like this if you love Dinant and or love Lef a beer too because they give some nice goodies. And in the comments, let us know what your favorite Belgian beer is. Yeah, uh, we will see you next time. Bye.